Yeah, my dirty old toy belt. Yeah. I need all that old, about five, six years old. Yeah, it's been a good one so far. Except for all those damn safety features on it. And, uh, I had to put a cut off valve on gas line here. And, uh, that's very easy to do. I recommend everybody has one of these because you never know when you will need to shut your gas off for some reason or another. And it's real, real simple to do. Just get you a cut off valve from an auto store or wherever you get your valves from. Or probably get them at the auto store cheaper than you can anywhere else. And they, I think this is like maybe three or four dollars at most. And all you do is cut your gas line. Put that thing in there. Uh, put your little clamps back on. And you're good to go. And it's great if you want to uh, drain your uh, filter there for some reason. And I won't go into the reason I uh, put one on, but it comes in handy on a different situation, and and here's another thing you don't really need, but there's a. Uh, you have to go into, you have to work on this. I don't want you having to work today, so I won't get into this. But it involves taking this uh, little uh, connection from the bottom of your carburetor. So, uh, but don't do it unless you have trouble with your carburetor. Then you can find out what, how to do that. So, what we're going to do today is just uh, see if we can't get rid of a couple of these unnecessary uh, Safety features. Uh, just one, really. Uh, but you don't need. Unless possibly you have uh, some little kids hanging around. But uh, what you do here on this, we need uh As you know, when you start to back up, you have to, you'll be all the way over here in the green, and you have to turn back to the red. There's a little red spot here. And then mash this. Mash this little button here. And you're, you're supposed to get a red light come on over here. But it's not doing it. So I can't back up. But, they say there's a better way to do it. And, we're going to look underneath. Right here is the switch. This works off the switch. So, we can look up underneath the hood here. Well, that's the hood, but under here 
you will see a little plug. And it's that plug right there, the top of your uh, switch plate. And I have it on good authority that you unplug that and it kills your safety feature. And you can back up. So let us try that. Okay, there you see, I've got it unplugged. So, I'm going to try it and see if it will back up now. So, what I have to do is I have checked and I have enough, barely enough gas to crank it. So, I'm going to turn my gas on and see if it'll crank. So we see that works. Now what the uh, other thing is if you want to get off of it when it's still running, you take this little tab here, press it all the way down to the bottom, and the, it keeps your your brake pedal down. Get out of it, get off of it, do what you want to. So now I cut the uh, uh, gas off, and I'll let it run for a uh, few minutes till it starts sputtering. Then I'll turn the key off and uh, so there we go it's starting to run out of gas so I'll just go ahead and turn the key off so now as you see uh, it was still in reverse when I got out of the When I got, got off the seat there, and of course, uh, sitting on the seat is what makes it uh, run when that brake ain't clamped down all the way. But that's a simple. Uh, if this if this quits working sometime, there's also a plug, I believe, up underneath the seat that you can unplug. And uh, uh, never have to worry about that again. So this, I'll count this as my good deed for the day. And you can thank me later.
and uh, enjoy your time on your favorite lawnmower, even if it ain't a toy built.